Miss Eliason, my sixth grade teacher, was my favorite teacher of all. Here's what she looked like when she was our teacher in the 60s. And she took a trip to Afghanistan and through Europe the summer before she taught us. Um, and so she sent back postcards, and she really opened up the world to us. And I was amazed to find in her um, diary of her scrapbook pictures of her uh, much younger when she went to Paris and studied painting and sculpting. Uh, she was uh, 45 in that picture. So here is Miss Eliason's scrapbook. letters from Willard School, giving her permission to leave and go to France to study, to study art at the École Americaine des Beaux-Arts. Here she is in class. This is in 1951. Sculpting. I haven't even had time to look through the whole, the whole book, but I went to the end where she took her trip to Afghanistan, which was just before she became our sixth grade teacher. She was teaching at Willard even back in 1951. There's a uh, description of her itinerary here. She left for Lisbon, Portugal, June 25th, Madrid, Spain, June 21st. There are some pictures of her staying in Rome. And here's the Miss Elias and I remember. Her hotel in Rome was quite fabulous. And when she wrote home, she put notes all around every picture, explaining what a lovely time she had. Sometimes she'd say what birds she'd seen. She was blessed by the Pope. She wrote many letters home. And here are some more pictures of Afghanistan. Apparently, they, she had friends who were teaching in Afghanistan. And um, the men visited the boys' school, and the women went to visit the girls' school. And she said the girls were learning to read and write in English and in Farsi, and studied embroidery. Here's a street in Kabul. postcard showing it. This was uh, Banu, Banu, Bamu Yan, I guess uh, an ancient uh, grave site. She wrote the postcards home to her sisters and said, uh, Please save these so that I can show them to my class. Here's the section of her scrapbook with some of her sketches. Oh, 
certificate of attendance at Cold Dark America.